Hey y'all, it's me, Ren, back again for another adventure. We are trying to wrap up the rest of this business with our Please Don't Touch Any thing a stream. We've got 10 more endings, it looks like. And uh, I, uh, I will admit... I went ahead and looked up a few things, watched Markiplier play some of his game, and uh, it was real interesting seeing seeing the bits that he just got right off the bat that I had missed. It's a smart cookie. All right, so uh, so what I basically did is I looked up a guide on Friday after I finished play. I looked up a guide, I made some notes, and then I watched some Markiplier do it. And then I had a four day weekend, or three day weekend, three day weekend. And from there, we're just gonna see how much I remember of all of that without peeking again. So the first one that I remember and that I'm just sad at myself for not thinking of is smashing the ding dang monitor. I mean, why not? Why why not smash? I was smashing everything. Ooh, oh, where'd it go? Did that crash? It crashed it. Well, ding, dang, dang it. I didn't expect that. Come back to me. Please don't touch anything. Please don't be like permis... Perma scratch here. Come back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was mean to you and smashed your monitor. I'm sorry that the Illuminati just pooped on me. How rude. Unlock the hammer ending. We are watching. Here it is. So at least it gave me credit for it. I wonder if it crashing is like part of it where it's just fucking with my brain. All right. So that's that one. Ah. Uh, we are watching. I can check that one off of my list. That was an easy one. Okay, so then the other one that is pretty easy and I kind of am vexed with myself for not figuring it out is this up here with the GR Bibi Grab your hammer. And that's green, red, blue, blue. So yeah, what does this one get us? Oh, it's the upsy down. The upside down or the oopsie daisy. And that gives us this little yin yang thing here. All right, well that one's easy enough. This is going pretty quick here. All right, so now I've got to get a couple things in place here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so this puzzle up here was pretty interesting and I'm, I'm sad that I didn't get it worked out myself uh, just because of the sort of cool numberness of the puzzle. I thought it was pretty cool. Let's see if I can say cool a couple more times. So basically, we're missing this part here in the code, this little blank spot. And what it's telling us is, all right, well, we start off with the number one. The next part of the equation is telling us what's in this previous part of the equation. So there was one of the number one. All right, that's pretty cool. So then the next part of the equation is telling us, well, in the previous part, there were two of the number one, which means in this part of the equation, we have one of the number two and one of the number one. So that gives us one, two, one, one. That did not do anything. What was it supposed to do? Okay, so maybe I have to put that in a different number. So maybe it's this, this one here. Did that give us? Yeah, it did. Okay. 
All right, so it was just a layer, it was a little, a layer farther down than, uh, blah, blah, blah. A layer farther down than I was expecting, but that's all right. So now we've got this little keyboard. Mm, I'm going to have to turn my volume up here. Okay, we gotta listen. We gotta listen well here. Oh, I'm bad at these ones. I do not have an ear for sound. Okay, all right. Okay, so I think it's not that one. All right, so it's... There we go. Okay. Just play a little piano here. Oh, it only... Ooh, it's blasting my ass here with the sound. Let's tone that shit down a little bit, kids. Okay, so it only destroyed most everything. That's pretty cool. Oh, and that gives us these little lizard mans. No lot lizards. Is that like something I should know? Is that like a, a V thing or some other aliens maybe? Who knows? All right, so then we still haven't gotten this fourth ending. All right, so let's go ahead and we got to get into here again. One, three, two, two, three, one. And then it's uh, this one. Okay, so that, that poops that out. Um, so that wasn't exactly what I wanted. Hmm. Is it this way? I mean, that does give us a, a zero one over here. So one of the other things that I learned uh, is when we're looking at this and it's DOT dot, that it was actually talking about uh, Morse code. And so uh, if you do Morse code for the word dot, it should be that? No. Okay. I don't know Morse code. Is that the same thing? Okay. So it's Morse code for D-O-T. So let me just look up... Um, Morse code alphabet. Alphabet. Chart? Sounds good. Okay. So, D is... Oh, maybe I had it backwards. Like, flash one. D-O. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. It's magic. You know... Ah, uh, I liked how that little boat just came bopping in there from the side. Just a little floop. Awesome. So now I've got my little oceans. We love it. Hooray, hooray. Okay. Um, so that was that one. Okay. So next... Uh, let's see here. What, what do we want to do next? Oh, well, I guess I have to restart. That's fine. Okay, so we've got this one up here. 
I need to do a couple clicky clicky things here and get my screwdriver out. And then we'll do some of this, get our other panel out. And that's that. I remember previously that hitting this four times. Oh, whoops. Okay. Well, that wasn't necessarily exactly what I wanted to do, but that's all right. Um, well, let's see here. So we'll go this way. Ah, you know what? Let's restart because I want to show y'all something here. Because uh, if we're over here and we get this piece, one, three, two, two, three, one. Then, um, for this, this piece of information here, these little numbers, this, these numbers mean squart. This is a bunch of hooey we didn't need. Uh, but here, zero is two and three, one is four, and two is one. That's an additional clue for us. And the clue, hey, yeah, hey, Devin Crashin. I'm doing a little bit of streaming. It's probably gonna be a short one today. I'm just figuring out these, these rad puzzles here. I had one on Friday where I did the majority of the ones by myself figuring them out. But uh, over the weekend, I looked up the cheats because I'm a cheating fool, but only, only when it calls for it. <laughs> Only when I want to win. All right. So this particular puzzle means that in the first spot, there is a two. In the two and in the two and the three spot is a zero. And in the fourth spot is a one. So what we need to do now is restart. And then when we pull up our puzzle here. So this is this is spoilers for the game. <laughs> exactly we support cheating if it allows to have fun as long as everybody involved is having fun cheating is fine all right so now i need my numbers up here and that should give me two zero zero one yes okay so now oh i didn't show you oh shoot should i show you yeah we got the time i'll show you all right so I want to show this here so in our other in our other secret code here there's this whole thing down here where there's the planets and you see it's pointing at our 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 god of the underworld out here pluto all like what 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 all right so with that and our pluto connection now we can come in here and get uh, get this last puzzle. Well, not not the last puzzle. All right, so now we go here, and we've got our stuff here. And so now, so yeah, I played a whole bunch on Friday. I played until I got stuck. Uh, and then I did a little bit of research, looked up some things, but then I waited three days so that I could start forgetting things and see how much I actually like remember as the challenge. So that's the game challenge now is what, what kind of hints can I remember after three days? And what was it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got D4 there. Oh, hooray! Tabletop RPG, though. Uh, what system are you using? I've been I've been playing D and D. Oh, we're going out to Pluto, and Pluto's just a little baby, just a little baby planet. I mean, I know it would make testing our solar system much harder, but I think we should have just signed on Pluto and Eris and all those other little micro planets or whatever they're calling them we could just all be part of the family now that i don't have to be tested on the planets of the universe you know what i mean 
Oh, Ooh, super cool. Custom playbook called the star. I have, I have a bunch of different systems that I purchased like at various cons and stuff back when I was still getting out and about in the neighborhood. Uh, but D and D has been the most, and then there was one called um, Beyond Trinity, which was uh, space space psychics, basically. Um, but I love a good D and D, and then um, I've done a little bit of Pathfinder. All right, so let's look here. We we are trying to get the green panel which i don't don't remember how to get the green panel open i know there's a thing under here uh Sano leonardo and he's he's the fibonacci fella fibonacci sequence uh that was something i did not get on friday i could not remember who the heck Fibonacci was, which, you know, I cut myself some slack that way is, you know, you're not, you're not always going to remember Fibonacci. All right. I got to get my screwdriver here. Um, I'm going to unhook this, which gives us this little thing here. And then I've got my number pad so I can put the Fibonacci sequence in. So, much like this was re referencing each number that came before it. Oh, nice. Ooh, Faye. Oh, any kind of puzzles or like riddles or ways to phrase things. Like, I still, because of all of the like Faye fairy books that I read growing up, when people ask, hey, can you do me, do me a favor? I never just say yes. I'm always like, what do you need? Because I'm not going to agree to something sight unseen. All right, Fibonacci, what you got for me? Three, five, eight, 13. There we go. What does Fibonacci do? Oh, Cthulhu, my buddy. A bunch of cool content, yet again, made by a problematic author, but hey. Death of the author, y'all. Cthulhu ate him. And instead, we get to have beautiful squids. All right. Cool, cool. We are tripping down the path of more, more things done. We did that one. Okay. We're still missing this fourth one and these five. So how do I get back to the spot that I needed for that? Because I've got this. I need to open up a panel here, but I don't quite remember how to do that. Because I, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't remember things very well. Well, let's get out our screwdriver and see if that has anything to do with it. Okay, because we did that one, did that one. I made a little list of the ones I still needed to do. Uh, uh how did I get this box open previously. Oh, I think I do remember. Okay, so I need to here. Uh, but no, it's not the 666 that we want. What is it? <laughs> exactly. There's lots of there's lots of stories and music that I can enjoy even though uh, I may not enjoy the people associated with them. Okay, I definitely got the grid that they're talking about in my cheats. I definitely got it open on my own numerous other times. 
So if I could just remember how I did that, that would be swell. Uh, let's think here. Was it something over here? It wasn't these guys, because that just makes everything explode. I think I need to restart. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Okay. The problem with relying on my memory is that my memory is terrible. And that's not the end of the world, but it does make it does make things harder. All right, we got this. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's what I that's what I needed. And for this, I'm trying to make the star of Satan. That wasn't right. How do you make a star of Satan? Like that. Okay, cool, cool. See, I tried so many different things with that previously. I tried making the star pattern, but I didn't make it the right star pattern, so I didn't get it randomly. So I kind of feel like that one's cool. Okay, so these symbols are important. I love, this is a lovely Satan. Or, or devil baby, whatever it might be. But I like... I like this Satan. Got some good hair going on. Only a little bit of doom trap in their their mouth area. Yeah, rem like one of my things is I'm great at figuring things out. Well, somewhat great. 50% great at figuring things out, but terrible at remembering what I figured out the next day. So I'm just constantly relearning things because they don't stick. All right, so we've got hourglass eyeball. He waves. Okay. Oh, that was the fourth one. Cool. I love filling in the dots. Filling all those dots. Uh, we already did this one, but I do like it. We'll see if I can get it, just for funsies. Not good enough. Come on now. Hoop, 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 hoop. We have to destroy the city. Can't afford to miss anything. Oh, whoops. Like the button itself. Like just totally miss the button completely. Yeah, I'm going to die. Look, here I go. Crash. All right. That's all right. Hourglass eyes wave key. Okay, so this is the tedious one. Okay. All of them are a little bit tedious. Because there's lots of buttons involved, but it's fun when you're figuring stuff out. Okay, so I know we'll need to have this stuff out. And we have to go up to 666. So while I'm clicking these buttons up all the way, we can talk. Uh, so yeah, and I was really into White Wolf gaming systems for a while. Uh, I got into LARP and that was real cool. There's a lot of stuff that I did before my anxiety got too bad. And I'm glad I have those memories. Um, sometimes it's sad because I think about whether or not I would still be able to do that stuff. And it just makes me want to curl up like a pill bug and die. But it's really nice knowing that I had fun with it in the past. And... You know, I lot of met I met a lot of my friends who have similar mental health issues by LARPing as vampires. So it for sure, for sure gave me a rich life to build off of. Heck, I met my my partner LARPing vampires, so I definitely would have gone down a different different path if I had not been popping around. And of course, you know, I love the Malkavians. <laughs> Isopods are rad as hell. Yeah, it's just the curling up bit. I just want to curl up sometimes and I wish I had that kind of like uh skeleton or skeletal makeup to be able to curl in that tight of a ball. Uh, you know, because it's cool. Pill bugs and uh some, there's a one particular armadillo that can curl all the way up. A lot of them can just make croissants. They can't get all the way up. 
I, uh, I had a hedgehog for a long time. Theirs are pretty cool too. Although hedgehogs are more of a, oh, never larked? Oh, no, I, uh, I grew up in America, live action role playing. Um, I didn't do with the boppers. Uh, like it wasn't, it wasn't that involved. Um, uh, pretty much all of our combat, combat was just, uh, throwing rock, paper, scissors with a couple of variations. But, uh, no, it worked out really well. I, uh, was close enough to a, a major college town to be able to really get a good group going. And of course, uh, it ended up dissolving after a lot of folks got out of college, but it was great while it lasted. Okay, so we got Eyeball, Hourglass, and Waves. Where's that Hourglass? There it is. And then Key. And then what? Press the button. Or maybe those are the only ones that can stay lit. I think that's what it is. Okay. I love the little musical tones this bar comes off of. There we go. Okay, so what's going to happen now? Oh, they're so delighted. I love them. Happy little city folk. This is this is the best end of the world. Why is it Satan? Wait, which one is this? Is it this one? This doesn't look satanic. It looks adorable. What the heck? Oh, well. I love you guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. I love you. Okay, so we got that one. And we got... Okay, we still need this one. So this one... It's, oh, <laughs> devilishly cute. <laughs> okay, so this one's we gotta cheat. So I gotta... I gotta actually change... Okay, well, first things, we gotta make sure that he doesn't come back. Never come back, never come back. All right, so one, three, two, two, three, one. And then we come over here and we're eight, three, six, seven. Open up our board over here. And then we open this. And then we hit this four times. Nope. Okay. Um, oh shoot. I got to restart. I flubbed it. One, three, two, two, three, one. And it's this one that we got to repeat. So we open up this one and this stuff pops out. That gives us D4. And then we crack open this thing. And so what I wasn't figuring out before is that this is actually clock. And so these are seconds, yeah. But then this is the actual time. And it wants us to be at midnight. So I actually have to get into, no, not task manager. That's not what I meant. How do I, how do I access the clock? What time is it? All right, so we are going to set my date and time. We're not going to do it automatically. We are straight up cheating here. And it is going to be 12. Or wait, it's... How does time work? How does time do, though? Okay. Okay. So now we're at 11.59 p.m. Yeah, so it's nighttime. Are you playing? Yeah, you're still going. Okay, so we got to wait a little bit for it to pop around. Yeah, like, don't be reading my clock. That's invasive. <laughs> but nah, it's fine. This game can read my clock. It can clean my clock. All right, and then I'll, I'm going to need, it's just these numbers. Okay, so just, just 
studying up here because I want to see it myself and I want to get all of my lights filled in. I got to get all the lights filled in. It's important. <laughs> all right. Oh, oh, there we go. I got my little clock thing. Okay, so one, one, three, one, three, one. Yeah! So that little ticker tape thing that can't... Oh. Oh, that's fine. Foo! It's the Death Star. Nice. Foo! I like saying foo as my, as my actual cuss. Just, it delights me. Okay, so... The next one... Let's see here. Okay, we got a restart. We got our cleared, cleared area. I guess I should, uh, let me go ahead and turn my set automatically on again. Yeah, back to 247, baby. Y'all know what time I'm zone, zoning in now. Somewhere on the eastern seaboard. Okay. So, next thing we gotta do... I think we want over here. And we've got four zero two zero. Ooh. Ooh. Uh okay. Um what sorts of things can we do with this? Can we we might need to unscrew this? We might need a hammer on this. Yeah, it's and screw daylight savings. It's always EST. Can I smush you? Hammer at you. Smush you. No? Okay. Um, clicking on you a bunch doesn't do anything. Now, uh, one of the other clues that I got previously um, was after that little uh, airplane game. It gives you another clue clue to doing some clicky clickies here okay so that's what we needed uh we needed those clicky clickies but i still need another piece um i think it's this piece it's one of the things that you'll notice here is there's some coordinates here and uh oh shit Okay, all right, so in the coordinates, we've got B4, so B4, and then uh, the A, B, C, D1, and D7, and then D4, and then for a fifth one, we're just going to mirror it. Is that what we needed? No? Okay, so maybe we needed it to be... A, B, C, D across the top. So D1, D7. Um, so those are Bs. Wait. Mm, okay. All right. So then up here we have a diamond that we can put in this thing and make something happen with a diamond lasers. Oh, it's our ship. Oh, whoops. Hey, little buddy. It's a little sandworm. Did, okay, did Twitch freeze? What's Twitch doing? You still, you still believe in me, Twitch? Let me double check up here. Hmm. Hmm. Says I'm still broadcasting. How are we doing? Are you seeing I'm gonna I'm playing City Boom, so let me know if you're not seeing a little ship crisscross here. Because I, I mean, given my luck, I wouldn't be surprised if changing my time clock made things wonky. Uh, 
Plants do go burr. Excellent. Plant goes burr. Whoops. I'm going to run into that. Oh, I didn't. But I am going to do that now here. Yep. Fresh. That's all right. Okay. So we've just got this last one. Oh, hey, man. Man. I need to take a bathroom break. Stay here for a moment. Wait, what is this panel for? Ah, uh, don't bother. It's just a coffee machine. Uh, au contraire, mon frere. But why is it so strange? I don't know. It just appeared here one day. Sometimes it shows ads on the screen. You can order some coffee while I'm gone. There's the red button. Okay, but don't take too long. You can get a coffee. Heck yeah, I got a coffee. Oh, I can drink it all too. Glug, glug, glug. More coffee? Oh, how much coffee can I drink? Is that going to be anything? Well, we uh, watch these delightful... Come on, there's got to be some kind of coffee related... Uh, how, much, how much does my attention span combat with... Uh, my ability to drink coffee. Nah. Nah. Okay. I'm going to give it up. I got them all. Huzzah. Very exciting. Just constantly consume coffee. Always coffee. It's very... I can't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Too much coffee. But okay. Very good. A very good little game, y'all. I love it. All right. So... Next, let's see. It's been less than half an hour. I can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. All right, so we are going to switch some doodads around here.